shortly before lockdown started, I ordered two guitar slides on the internet. I ordered a metal slide and a Perspex slide, and they were very inexpensive. I tried following some tutorials and discovered that the slides I had didn't fit my fingers very well, but I also stumbled across a few videos of people making their own. Now, if you've seen the video in which I attempt to cut a mirror, you'll know that glass cutting is one of my least favourite things. So I watched some more videos which presented a number of techniques for easily cutting a wine bottle along a score line. Now I don't know about you, but whenever I see a lot of YouTube videos telling me how easy something is, I know it's going to be a rough road. We're just not going to talk about the first two bottles, or the flaming string approach. Let's just say it didn't work for me. I had some luck with the hot water ice water technique, but only with the thinner sections of the bottle. One mistake I think I was making was that I was scoring much too deep. The approach I had the most success with is using a soldering iron. It's very slow, but once you get a crack appearing, you have quite good control bringing it around the rest of the score. It took me much longer than it should have to realise that the glass is much tougher and more abrasive than most of the things in my workshop. Eventually I twigged that for shaping I was going to have to rely on the rubbishy diamond grinding ends for my Dremel. I'm sure there are better ways of doing this. Please feel free to post them in the comments, although I make no promise I'll read them. In addition to sandpaper, I also tried wire wool, and then some polishing compound and a buffing wheel. And I learned there are less messy ways of doing this. So the first slide functioned pretty well, but I based it on dimensions of the slides I'd purchased and it seemed a bit too long when I was practicing, so I decided to make a shorter version. After about 20 minutes of the soldering iron technique, I decided to fold it out of shop for some reason.
sixties and he had the boot thing printed on this like super yellowed old piece of paper and it was like scotch tape to the side of the machine and you just had to keep it. It's pretty good. I think that's common practice. Uh, it's not that many commands, but of course when he goes to run the tape it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> and then I think he does a fast forward on the video, but I think Don't judge me too harshly, this is slide guitar for beginners. <laughs> 